Good morning, friends. So my topic is the going on at the international organization, and uh, I told you about the unipolar. The uh, UN in the unipolar world, which I did yesterday, and I uh, when the three days holidays before, and just I want to recapitulate so that you should not forget whatever I have done with you. So the UN in the unipolar world, among the concerns about the reform and restructuring of the UN, they should not uh, UN and America, they don't have any serious uh, America don't have any serious rivals. So, can the UN serve as a balance against the US dominance? I told you yesterday is, uh, when I start on the last period. Can it help maintain a dialogue between the rest of the world and the US and the prevent America from doing whatever it wants? Ki, kya wo America ko rok sakta UN? Ki jo bhi whatever, jo bhi kaam wo kar raha hai, UN uh, America, Joby, come, Kaza, yes, suppose it's wrong or right, whatever it is. Am, uh, is am, uh, UN successful to stop America? I don't think, yes. Because I gave you example that according to, uh, he attacked on uh, Iraq also, and Saddam Hussein was killed. Even Libya, the head of the Libyan state, you know, Colonel Gaddafi was hanged. So many of them, many of it, they are a lot of examples. U.S. power cannot be easy, United States cannot be easily checked. You know, U.S. power cannot be easily checked. Here it is. U.S. power cannot cannot be easily checked. First of all, with the disappearance of Soviet Union, I told you after the Soviet Union was disappeared and Russia came up, the balance of power disturbed. And uh, first, uh, and after Second World War, you know, when the the whole nation, whole uh, scenario, and whole the world was divided into the Western part and Eastern part, you know, Eastern part is gone. Basically, Russia now is only part is Russia is there. So superpower imbalance of superpower is there only now. Ab is what ek hi superpower hai that is America. So America, jo bhi chahta hai, you know, se manwa leta hai. So secondly. And next is, secondly, the U, uh, within the UN influence of the US, considerable, this is here, of the US considerable as the single largest contributor to the UN. And I told you that single largest contributor to the UN Assembly and UN General Assembly and Security Council, whatever the expansions is met by, that is met by basically 20 to 22% is by USA, United States of America. You know, it desh, the 22% complete UNO ka jo balance jo kharcha hai, wo USA vahen karta hai, USA deta hai, and rest of it, other countries, how can, you know, Americans influence will be neglected by UNO. It's not possible. So, the U.S. has unmatched financial power. Here it is. And as a U.S. single largest contributor to the U.N., U.S. has in unmatched financial power. The fact that U.N. is physically located within the U.S. territory, and I told you, a lot of U.N. headquarters is located in in in. United States of America, their headquarters. So, you know, influence of US is mammoth. Where? On the UN. So, UN no chahakar bhi US ko nahi rok sakti. If UN want that it, uh, they should stop the influence of U, uh, United States of America, but they, they, they are unable to do it because the main financial burden is accepted by USA. How can they say? And a lot of headquarters are in US, United States of America. So, kaise, you know, usko rok paigi? Possible? Nahi hai. So, now, I told you it could be a question for you that uh, is it possible 
like this, uh, the question could be like this. Is it possible that you and you can uh, check and balance the power of the US, United States of America? So now I told you what will be your answer. It, according to me, it's not possible. According to the book also, it's not possible. Right, yes, uh, it, it can suggest the United States of America. It can suggest, you know, can suggest it. But you know, it can cannot force it. You force me to the United States of America, that you have to do this. So, if you force it, then you the United States of America. Right. Now, the UN is not, therefore, a great balance to the US. Now, the UN is not, therefore, a great balance to the US. Nevertheless, in a unipolar world in which the US is dominant, the UN can has served and UN can and has served to bring the US and the rest of the world into a discussion over various issues. It's not possible to mend the ways of United States of America. It's not possible. It's possible Lekin with the help of other nations, European nation, Eastern nation, Asian nation, it made a you know compact pressure on US pressure dal sakta hai, pressure diya bhi hai ki United States apne apne uh, situation ko accept kare right uh, or you know dusre ki baaton ko bhi mani whatever United uh, you know UN wants to say US ex should accept it no no you know uh, there is one word called pressure pressurize kiya ja sakta manwaya to nahi ja sakta United States say, like in United States, is pressure under pressure lay sakti hai. in 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 corona uh, corona warfare, right? Uh, corona war is a biological war, a uh, some type of biological war. You know, in ko pressure dala gaya. In even Donald Trump accepted there should be mask, right? So like this. So mana kya hai? Or kabi kabi United States. United UN ki baato ko maanta bhi hai. Aisa nye ko bilkul neglect karta maanta. So the United, UN is not therefore a great balance. But UN is not a great balance. It is a pre pressure pressure balance. Pressure and balance. The UN is not a, therefore a great balance to US. Nevertheless, in a unipolar world in which the US is dominant. US jo hai dominant hai. United States of America is dominant power hai. World ka super power hai. Uske, uska, uska balance mein ko, uske ko, heavy nahi. No one, no, you know, Western country is just matched to United States of America. It's unmatched part. Financial also, you know, militarily also. So um, they have, they have unmatched, an unmatched one. The UN can and has served to bring the US and the rest of the world into a discussion. So wo US ko kisi problem ke upar discussion ke liye la sakti. Right. Into a discussion over the various issues. There are a lot of various issues. Basically, various issues, various issues are garibi. Right. Um, poverty. Safe drinking water. Right. Globalization. Right. Global warming. Nuclear warfare. Nuclear warheads. Peace and settlements with other countries. They are some these are the some issues, right? So rest of the world into discussion. So it's may what discussions per last You discuss on with the pair problems. Then you know when the when the person when the a country comes on the discussion table, you can pressurize on it. Right. So discussion of various issues. US leaders, in spite of their frequent criticism, the UN, yes, and they criticize the UN also. Listen to Trump, the uh, you know ex president of Trump. They said they are not being the member of you know WHO, World Health Organization. Ke member nahi rahenge. The member nahi rahenge, to ye contribute bhi nahi karega uske financials mein, finance mein. Right, ex president Donald Trump said so he used to criticize openly. He used to criticize openly uh, the United States of America. So uh, U.S. leaders, in spite of their frequent criticism of the UN do see the organization as a serving purpose in bringing together over 193 nations, now 193 nations dealing with conflict and social economic development. So what is this? 
इट मीन्स चाहे कितना भी यू नो दे they maybe they are calling or they have got lot of uh, lot of uh, reserve for the un united nations ke prati thoda reservation hai they openly criticize united states of america openly criticize frequently their leaders frequently criticize united nations but they say that uno is a powerful organization they accept it that uno despite various conflict and uh, on the various issues but they accept one thing that you know that uno is a is a powerful is a powerful organization which bring lot of leaders together and the uno has served to bring the us and the rest of the world into a discussion over various issues discussion of various issues ke upar unhone kaafi discussions kiye us leaders in spite of their frequent criticism of the un in spite of the frequent criticism of un iske bawajood bhi uno ke wo criticize karte rahe iske bawajood bhi they say that uno is a powerful organization do see the organization as serving purpose in bringing together over 193 nations in dealing with the conflict and social economic and development सोशल इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट में यूएनओ ने बहुत मदद की है दूसरे देशों की इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट में राइट लॉट ऑफ कंट्रीज आर वेरी पुअर डेवलपिंग लॉट ऑफ डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज आर पुअर आई मस्ट से दे दे आर नॉट दे आर यू नो अनएबल टू गिव द बेसिक बेसिक थिंग्स टू देयर सिटीजंस ड्यू टू द इकोनॉमिक कंपल्शंस एज फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड the un provides an arena in which it is possible to modify us attitude and policies ye ek base deti hai ye ek platform deti hai kaun uno uno gives the platform to the various countries to come together or and come together and discuss on the various issues issues and sometime they are against us united states of america and they are able they are able to modify us attitude they are able to modify us attitude right so while the rest of the world is really united against against washington and while it is virtually impossible to balance your spar so yeah so it acceptable hai ki us ke par ko balance karna is not possible right and uh, uh, but they came together they came together right and uh, and it is virtually impossible to balance your spar which i told you and now it's a one is human right human rights watch it's an again as an organization it's in the box just in the box it's human rights uh, human rights watch uh, what is it human rights watch human rights watch is a, another international ngo non government organization ngo involved in research and advocacy on the human right you know human right is a vital issue it is a vital issue maybe whosoever the maybe whatever the human being as human beings are maybe he is a worse person but first he is a human sabse pehle wo insaan hai to insaan hone ke naate uske chahe kaisa bhi insaan kyun na ho chahe kitna bhi worse kyun na ho uske apne rights se तो वो ह्यूमन राइट्स वॉच यही देखती है इट इज द लार्जेस्ट इंटरनेशनल ह्यूमन राइट्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन द यूएस लार्जेस्ट ह्यूमन राइट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है यूएस के अंदर ये नॉन गवर्नमेंट है गवर्नमेंट इसको सपोर्ट जरूर करती है पैसा देती है फंड देती है पर ये गवर्नमेंट के अंडर नहीं काम करती इट ड्रॉज द ग्लोबल मीडिया अटेंशन टू ह्यूमन राइट अब्यूज जो इंसान के हक है इंसानी हक है एज अ ह्यूमन बींग एज मनुष्य के जो अधिकार है 
इंसानों का अधिकार उसके लिए ये लड़ती है और उसके अगेंस्ट जो भी घटनाएं घटती हैं इंसानों के अगेंस्ट दैट दैट people right then it uh, they they publish it into the world newspaper globally and they want to tell the globe they want to tell the whole world that what is happening in some country so it is the largest international human rights organization in the us it draws the global media's attention to human rights abuses it helped in building international co- coalition like the campaigns to ban landmines to stop the use of child soldiers and to establish the international criminal court dekhi you know kuch points hai har ek organization apne saath leke chalti hai jab sab suppose an organization is there when an international organization is there which which used to see that there is a no no abuse again there should be no abuse uh, against the human rights right so it has its own goals the you know it could be a question for your final examination write a uh, no write a short note on the human rights watch could be a three marks question right could be a three marks question thus is a, a, a large this part now right this is there this part it could be a three marks question so what do you mean by what do you think what what are their aims first aim is it draws the global media attention to human rights abuses this is the first first point ye kya karti hai in uh, human abuses ke against ye khadi hoti hai aur ye global media ka attention uske upar leke aati hai global media world media you know fourth pillar of the democracy fourth pillar teen pillar to hai ye fourth pillar hai it helped in the building international coalition इंटरनेशनल कोलिशन इकट्ठा पूरे इंटरनेशनल वर्ल्ड के जितने भी कंट्रीज हैं उनको इकट्ठा करती है राइट और लाइक द और दे यूज टू टेल दैट दे शुड फाइट फॉर द बैन लैंड माइंस लैंड माइंस जो बिछाए जाते हैं सोल्जर्स को मारने के लिए लोगों को मारने के लिए लैंड माइंस बिछाए जाते हैं जमीन के अंदर बॉम्ब्स बिछाए जाते हैं वेन द प्रेशर इज देर देन द बॉम्ब दैट दोज बॉम्ब्स ब्लास्ट एंड लॉक अप you know destruction is there so those that bomb those bombs are called landmines so landmines ko ban karne ki koshish karti hai kahin par bhi landmines na ho so unknown people they put they, they can they, they can be killed and the un, uh, you know uh, soldiers could be killed on those thing on those landmines to stop the use of child soldiers are also there in arabian country in african country child soldiers are there child soldiers so they want to ban those child soldiers to go into the war and to establish the international criminal court international criminal court hona chahiye where the you know lot of um, uh, countries they they put their own uh, you know uh, criminals uh, on on those courts uh, and and they there could be a, you know you know um, punishment for those criminals international criminals so these are the human rights organization so here we are so i gave you this aspect uh, it could be a three marks question another part is there which i will just let you know then then uh, balance i told you that washington while it is virtually impossible to balance i come to the particular part of the chapter mm, yeah this is here the un the the un does provide a space with the which arguments against specific us against a specific us attitude and policies are heard and compromises and concession can be shaped so you kya karte un does provide a space ek space provide karti hai ek you know platform provide karti hai jahan par 
यूएन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स अमेरिका के अगेंस्ट जो भी बातें हुई हैं उनको सुना जा सके पर लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स नेवर एक्सेप्ट्स एनीथिंग अगेंस्ट अगेंस्ट अ सिटीजन अगेंस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री मे बी इट्स अ करेक्ट बट दे डोंट वांट टू हियर बिकॉज़ दे नो दैट दे आर द सुपर पावर वो अपनी अगेंस्ट कोई भी बात सुनना पसंद नहीं करते क्रिटिसाइज भी सब करना पसंद नहीं करते दे डोंट वांट दैट एनी कंट्री शुड क्रिटिसाइज देम मे बी इट्स अ करेक्ट एंड यू नो हेल्दी क्रिटिसिज्म दे डोंट वांट टू एक्सेप्ट इट सो द यूएन तो यूएनओ क्या करती है ये वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट कुड बी अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू द यूएन डज प्रोवाइड अ स्पेस विद इन द व्हिच आर्गुमेंट्स अगेंस्ट स्पेसिफिक यूएस एटीट्यूड एंड पॉलिसीज आर हर्ड एंड कॉम्प्रोमाइज एंड कंसेशन कैन बी शेप्ड डिस्कस दिस पार्ट जो यूएनओ है एक प्रोवाइड करती है किसको एक प्लेटफॉर्म प्रोवाइड करती है पूरे वर्ल्ड को ताकि यूएसए के अगेंस्ट कुछ ना कुछ सुना जा सके इसके ऊपर आप डिस्कस कीजिए तो दैट इज वन द यूएन इज इम्परफेक्ट बॉडी इट इज द यूएन इज एन इम्परफेक्ट बॉडी इज ए परफेक्ट बॉडी नहीं है दैट मीन वन थिंग लाइक लीग ऑफ नेशन वॉज एन एब्सोल्युटली इम्परफेक्ट इट वॉज अनेबल टू कंट्रोल द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर एज वेल एज to control the second world war right so it is yeah somehow usa uh, united states accepts also that un is a powerful body but it's not a perfect body right it's not a perfect so the un is in imperfect body but without it the world be worse off ye imperfect hai accept it लेकिन एक बात याद रखिए यूएनओ के यूएनओ बहुत पावरफुल है इम्परफेक्ट है पर पावरफुल है यू नो इवन यूएसए भी एक्सेप्ट करती है इसके बिना यूएनओ के बिना वर्ल्ड का और बुरा हाल हो जाए ओके okay, मानते हैं हम कि यूनाइटेड स्टेट इसके इसके दबदबे को एक्सेप्ट नहीं करता बट लॉट ऑफ कंट्रीज से इवन इंडिया से all the rule and regulation and instruction given by uno and you know in uh, in india is one of the largest democratic country of the world it accept the globalization next chapter will be the globalization right so usb india ki baat ko manta hai to ye uno ko khatam kar diya jayega यूएनओ के पार को खत्म कर दिया जाएगा तो वर्ल्ड का और बुरा हाल हो जाएगा इट विल बी इन अ वर्स पोजीशन गिवन द ग्रोइंग कनेक्शन एंड लिंक्स बिटवीन द सोसाइटीज एंड इश्यूज यूनो क्या कहती है वेरियस सोसाइटीज वेरियस इश्यूज को लिंक करती है और उसके ऊपर डिस्कस करती है सोल्यूशन भी देती है वॉट वी ऑफन कॉल इंटरडिपेंडेंस it is hard to imagine how more than 7 billion people would live together without an organization such as uno it possible nahi hai the world jo hai dekhi jahan par itne log hai we have got in india we have got 135 crore people we have got more than 7 billion people in the world there will be you know dissatisfaction one country to the another country there will be lot of issues which are unsolved which are unsolved and they will not be they will be unable to solve those issues and vital issues for last many many centuries you know world is fighting against the poverty it's not successful it's not successful but yes some achievements are there right so it will be a worse situation if uno loses its power right uno is wind off it uno ko khatam kar diya jaye so what we often call it and we are uno is dependent on the various countries and various countries are depending on uno it is interdependence hum ek dusre ke upar dependent hai 
यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स हमारे ऊपर डिपेंड है हम यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स के ऊपर डिपेंड है वी हैव टू हैव द कोऑपरेशन बिटवीन ईच अदर यू हैव टू हैव विदाउट कोऑपरेशन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो सच एज यूएनओ technology promises to increase planetary interdependence now technology is there technology right now suddenly lot of countries are against china right you know just recently we have banned many um, have banned many apps of chinese lot of countries wants to come into into uh, in india to open their own business world business they want to go into the indian market no so a lot of help that coming from you and no also usa also you know uh, india also so you know when we are this in century and communication these are all communication technology communication technology is a vast communication and technology in is a vast right so we have uh, we are interdependent communication depending on the market market depending on the communication technology business so we are interdependent and therefore the importance of uno will only increase is say jo uno creating a help for us so it uno's position increases people and government will have to find ways of supporting and using the un and other international organization in a ways that are consistent with their own interests and the interests of the international community more broadly so un no ko bhi sochna hoga ki how it can help much more better way with much more better way to the world you know UNO is a one of the one of the best organization of the second after the second world war right so UNO ko bhi sochna padega kiske liye dusre countries ke liye they look there are two type of countries one are developed countries one are developing countries right so jitne bhi developed countries hain they are contributing to UN even USA also one of the largest contributor financial राइट तो उनको डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज के के बारे में सोचना डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज को भी ये देखना पड़ेगा कि हाउ इट कैन यू नो एनहांस द हेल्थ एंड एनहांस द कोऑर्डिनेशन टुवर्ड्स टुवर्ड्स यूएनओ यूएनओ को कैसे वो मदद करें सो दिस वाज द एंड ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड and there was another part you know amnesty international another which i told you ki i will i will uh, discuss with the amnesty international so it could be a, it could be a question for uh, your final examination what do you mean by amnesty international three mark the four mark question amnesty international is an ngo is again an ngo that campaigns for the pro- protection of women rights all over the world ye throughout world mein pure desh mein pure vishwa mein manav ke ke liye jo protection hai insano ke ko protect karne ke liye unke haqon ko haq dene ke liye unke adhikaron ko unki taraf dene ke liye ye kaam kar it promises it promotes and promises respect for all human rights jitne bhi usko promote karti lot of women rights are there so it prom- promotes respect for all human rights in the universal declaration of human rights dekhiye un is very much particular about the human rights so in the universal universal declaration of human rights it believes that human rights are interdependent and in इंडिविजिबल ह्यूमन राइट जो है इंटरडिपेंडेंट है मानव जो है दूसरे मानव के के साथ वो लिंक एक दूसरे के यू नो के ऊपर डिपेंडेंट है आप पर्सन कैन नॉट बी एलूफ 
he cannot live a life aloof. Right. So it believes that, and international organizations like uh, Amnesty International also believes that human rights. interdependent and it prepares and publishes reports on human rights. Right? Ye pub, uh, ye publishing publish karti human rights ke reports ko, ki some countries are very very much particular about the human rights. Like like Sweden. Like New Zealand. Right? Like other Western countries. They are very much particular. Uh, Switzerland. They are very much particular about the human rights. France. So, and they they publish these reports. They are published. Suppose something happens again, human rights. They publish the reports. Government and not all government are not always happy with these reports. Since a major focus of amnesty is the misconduct of government authorities. Basically, this amnesty international. They are against some type of government. So many countries, they are against the Amnesty International. They used to say that you should behave properly with the terrorists. Amnesty International we should behave properly with terrorists. Now it's a question mark. How a country could behave properly with the terrorists. Possible, it's not possible. That's why many countries, they are against Human Rights Commission or Amnesty International. What, what type of reports they used to publish about it. So nevertheless, these reports play an important role in research and, ad and advocacy on human rights. So yeah, basically, yeah, your reports, they're very important, right? And uh, they used to play an international uh, research for, uh, they used to play, uh, give research material on those to the those people, to the those, uh, those to those people who are having research on, you know, Amnesty International on the, on the human rights. So it's an, it, it, it is an NGO. Amnesty International, a NGO hai. Amnesty International, a NGO hai. Jo ye dekhti hai ki human rights ko thik se lagu kiya ja sake. Manu vatikar ko thik se lagu kiya ja sake. Ye reports publish karti hai. Kisi desh ke against bhi. Jo basically human rights ko mante nahi hai. Right. Or Amnesty International ko mante nahi hai. Isi kar, for this purpose, because many uh, Amnesty International, they are basically against many government organization, security organization, which they and they don't accept the report of Amnesty International. So unke reports ko jo human rights ke against wo karte hai, insano ke against ya, you know, terrorists against the way even jo kaam karte, unko wo dusre desh mein, global media mein prakashit kar rahi. So they are, that's why lot of government organization authorities, they are against uh, the report of uh, Amnesty International. So it could be a question for your final examination. Right? Right. So, so this is the end of the chapter. Next is thing tomorrow. Thank you.